Hey everyone. Just taking a walk, it's a beautiful day here today in the UK. Beautiful autumnal day. Actually reminds me a little bit of Spain in the winter. The sun is really bright and perfect blue skies. Just beautiful. Yeah, I haven't been on for a little while and had some reasons for that. But I wanted to just jump on now and share a little bit about about self-acceptance. And, you know, I think this is something that the majority of people struggle with. They struggle with accepting all parts of themselves. And I think spiritual people, quote unquote spiritual people, struggle with accepting parts of their humanness and I know that's been true for me in, 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 at times in my life and you know one of the programs I love watching maybe some of you know it it's called Married at First Sight shock horror <laughs> I love that program I think it's a interesting exploration of the human condition and most people on Married at First Sight they kind of state that what they would really like what they would really want in, in meeting somebody else is to find somebody who would just accept them for who they are And, you know, finding somebody who's going to accept us for who we are is, is a very beautiful thing. It's a very healing thing. It's a very connective thing. And I've experienced that in my life. But most of the time, we are on our own, aren't we? Most of the time. So I think to one extent or another the buck kind of stops with us you know, can we accept ourselves for who we are and that includes the parts of ourself which don't fit into the spiritual category maybe the parts of us that are hurt angry wounded Bitter. the parts of ourself which yeah, we find the hardest to be with and something that I've really found that has helped me with this is to be with those parts just to be with those parts and to hear their story and to acknowledge their, their reality. You know, and also sometimes we have parts of ourselves which are at war with one another. And this is, I think, where so much inner conflict comes from. And what we don't want is we don't want the parts of ourselves that are in conflict with one another to get into the conversations between themselves. What we need to do is we need to get in amongst them and kind of be like a, a mediating presence for them. You know, and I'm also now starting to think about, you know, what we're seeing with 
some of the conflicts around the world. And what they need is a mediating force, something in between them. So what I'm speaking about here is, is bringing our self, our true nature, in between the conflicts within ourself so that we understand parts of ourself we understand the story their, their story their, their their reality and we don't make ourselves wrong for it i think if we could unpack the stories of all these little sub personalities inside us we probably have a lot of compassion for them. They probably took on roles and responsibilities which were really difficult. And really this whole path of self-acceptance and self-compassion, they go hand in hand. It's very hard to accept ourselves if we don't have compassion for ourselves. Oh, what a blessed day today. Very lucky to live near here. This is only about five minutes from where I live. And it's very quiet up here. Yeah, so wishing you all the best with the self-acceptance. <laughs>